I'm Sean Velasco, and I am the captain, uh, is what I call myself, of Yacht Club Games. Shovel Knight, we built it to be like an 8-bit homage mashup of everything you loved about the, the NES and the 8-bit era. So uh, we started with a very simple gameplay conceit, right? It's, it's a knight and he has a shovel. We tried to build a game around a, a down thrusting attack. So like a, like a Zelda 2 style down thrust or like the, the DuckTales style like pogo bounce, right? A downward attack. I mean, even Mario, when he attacks, it's, it's just a downward stab, except there's not a sword in the way, right? So uh, we tried to build everything around this one gameplay mechanic. And so we thought, okay, well, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be digging down, then maybe you're gonna be going through soft ground. Maybe you're gonna be kicking it up into the air. You could be flipping guys over, you could be, uh, you could be sh like cutting something in half and the side split, right? This, we're talking about a shovel, like this is a shovel weapon, like, right? A shovel blade. And so that's when we decided, okay, we're going to do Shovel Knight, the Shoveling Knight. And that was the original title, right? Shovel Knight, colon, the Shoveling Knight. Um, eventually we shortened it to Shovel Knight. It's a game that has a lot of gameplay from, uh, just like from gameplay first uh, design, I guess, is the way I want to put it. So everything was designed around a single gameplay mechanic, and we built the entire game around it. We have uh, an awesome lineup of bosses that are really well-themed. We have a very, uh, a very clear world structure, and so it just harkens back to those times when, when it was a, a little bit simpler, and you, you understood the, the way that the game all was put together. It's like a pumped up 8-bit aesthetic. So it's NES style. There are only like 64 colors in the NES palette and we tried to match that pretty closely. So we have a very limited palette, but we cheated. We added like an extra color here and there, right? An extra gray or, or where we really needed it. Uh, but it's very close. Um, it's the same thing with our sprites, which are larger and they don't really fit inside like a 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 sprite box, but they're low color, you know, they're only four or five color, which makes it look very authentic in ESC. Uh, we added a lot of animation so that it, it blends and it's a lot smoother than it would be normally. And then on top of that, there's just a ton of parallax, so it's like tree layers you could just see moving in the background like forever. But that stuff you could never do on NES, uh, but we're just kind of like pumping it up and making it even better. And so hopefully it's like a, it's like a rose tinted view uh, of your past. It's like, it's not what an NES game actually is. It's how you imagined it to be like in, in your greatest thoughts in your brain as a kid.